Thank you a lot, Madam Gautel and Dr. Kay, uh, for introducing the, uh, my party and uh, also the Iranian situation briefly. So uh, uh, I prefer to uh, go to my speech directly. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me bring uh, by uh, thanking all those who made this extraordinary uh, gathering possible. Fundamental human rights in the Islamic Republic of Iran are being violated in a systematic way. These violations are rooted in the regime's ideological uh, foundation. Stoning and musician execution of the descendants, and many other cruel and inhuman punishments are customarily practiced in Iran. For more than three decades, these brutal acts have been carried out in the country. The whole world has witnessed this. I know you are also aware of this. Partly, I would like to limit my remarks during this rare opportunity to the multi-layered oppression against the non-Persian nations in Iran. More than half of Iran's almost 80 million people are composed of these ethnic minorities. Azerbaijani Turks, Kurds, Awazi Arabs, Baluchis, and Turkmen. Violence and hatred at the foundation of this regime's domestic and foreign policy. As long as uh, this regime is in power, the Iranian and the yeah, in the region will not see stability and peace. Hence, the removal of this tyrannical regime must take place, bringing about a democratic re replacement that accommodates the rights of all uh, affirm aforementioned nations in the only way. They bring stability and peace of Iran and region. Since this establishment of the Pahlavi monarchy from the first quarter of the uh, last century uh, till now, Iran's general policy has been that there, there is only one nation, one language, and one state, one religion. They have the disgraced the national and religious minorities in the country. As a result of this policy, all kinds of pressure have been excreted to uh, as assimilate and dissolve this national and religious communities within Iran as the dominant, dominant nation and religion. It is not only the uh, account from followers of Baha'is, Jews, Christian, and Yarsan who are not even Muslim that have become human, human uh, trage tragedies in Iran. It is also the condition of the followers of other Islamic sects that has been deplor deplorable, those sanctioned by, by the regime, <coughs> such as the um, Nabali Sufis and even Sunnis are in an even worse state. In Iran, these segments of society are not even considered equal citizens. Instead, they are actually treat, treated as enemies of the state, and all their cultural, national, and religious uh, rituals and ceremonies fall under very strict security. More than 10,000 Iranian Kurds have been killed under the 
drain off this regime. At this very moment, hundreds of Kurds are in dungeon, dungeons, scores of them awaiting their visit for execution. The Democratic Party of Iranian Kurdistan, the oldest political party in Iranian Kurdistan, has been struggling ag against this injustice and inequality for 66 years. The goal of our party is <coughs> liberation from this domination and prejudice carried out against our nation. <coughs> to realize this objective, this, these are our demands, the creation of a democratic and federal Iran. Only then will Iran belong to all Iranians. Unfortunately, our activists are imprisoned, tortured, and even executed under the pretext of separatism in response to these demands. To make the offense greater, our, our people are accused of being foreign agents. Our beliefs are considered to be hostile, inciting war against God and Islam. We want to eliminate this discrimination and oppression so that all enjoy equal rights and freedom. These demands are the demands of all national groups I mentioned earlier. To realize this objective, uh, collectively, 15 organizations have formed a coalition named the Congress of National Na Nationalities for a Federal <coughs> Iran. All of them are striving together to establish a federal and democratic Iran. Truthly, and viol violations of human rights in the Islamic Republic of Iran are carried out in an ideological and systematic manner. The regime's foreign policy is also systematic and ideological. This policy consists of meddling in the affairs of various Middle East uh, countries by sponsoring ter terrorist groups, creating instability and chaos in, the, in this state. Above all is, the regime seeks to bring about governments similar of similar of, uh, to to them, climbing to the apex of power in these governments, has been regarded as a legal and religious duty by the Iranian regime, regardless of the cost and consequences. There is no need to attempt to. Uh, uncover the true nature of this <coughs> regime's foreign policy. The Constitution is clear. It calls for revolution inside and outside the country and calls for united single Muslim world, world community. Of course, under the Iranian Islamic regime's umbrella. The regime's army and security forces are given the constitutional right to enact this mandate or duty by engaging in holy war to extend the uh, supremacy of God's law in the world. This unmovable uh, doctrine proves the point that bringing change to Iran without changing the regime is put out since all the players within the system carry out <laughs> domestic and foreign policy according to the uh, regime's constitution. Tehran insists upon advan advancing its uranium enrichment program to obtain nuclear weapons. This decision stems from the same general government policy. The regime is willing to observe any international pressure and punishment 
even even more than what has already been imposed to reach their nuclear objective. In line with this policy, now the Islamic Republic of Iran believes and is declaring that the recent development in the last few months in the countries of North Africa and the Middle East, such as Egypt, Tunisia, Libya, Bahrain, and others, are basically a continu continuation of that Islamic revolution of 1979. Mm -hmm. On one hand, the regime tries to stir up instability in the unfriendly countries. On the other hand, it not only remains silent regard regarding the violent anti-government protests in Syria, but also there are credible reports that the Iranian regime has a direct hand in the crackdown of the peaceful protest protesters in Syria and blames the outside world for provoking the uprising. The international community, in particular the United States, needs to become more uh, vigilant to help Kurdian Tehran's meddling in regional affairs. The, the intrusion is becoming an obstacle not only to the, uh, cre to the creation of uh, true freedom and democracy in Iran, but also around the surrounding regime. Curbing the scope of the uh, repressive forces such as the Revolutionary Guard to punishing violators of Iranian people's rights and freedom are all steps in, in the right direction. We have become such steps in the past and will continue to do, to do so in the future. We also welcome increased resource, resources uh, dedicated to create, creating new media tool, tools that help Iranian citizens and the civil society make their voice heard. Initiatives such as the Iran Human Rights and Democracy Promotion Act of 201 <coughs> spearheaded by Senator Mark Kirk and sponsored by other Senate and House representatives members on both sides deserve admiration. However, we need to remember that such initiatives and resource, alloca resource allocation must reflect Iran's social uh, the linguistic and multi-ethnic and religious composition to have the greatest effect. In conclusion, I would like to uh, reflect once more that the only solution to liberate the people of Iran is the removal of this regime and the establishment <coughs> of a democratic government chosen by the free will of, of the people of Iran. The nationalities in Iran can no longer be ignored. The international community, U.S. Uh, include, included, have an obligation to assist and support Iran's democratic and progressive forces to bring about regime change in Iran before more time passes. <coughs> and when a new government is formed, it must reflect the rightful position of the nationality, nationalities within the country. Otherwise, the effort to, to begin again will be doomed uh, to <coughs> failure. Thank you for being here, and thank you for attending.